I won't stay long. This is a shameless exercise in PR to say I'm sorry if I was a little harsh at work and to see how you're coping after what must have been the day from hell. Which it was. And I'm as well as can be expected. But no thanks to me, hmm? Maybe a bit. If you ever decide to give up medicine, you should take up diplomacy. <laughs> Couldn't be any harder. And while we're on the subject, if you see that uh, friend of yours, Mrs... Um, Ross. Tell her she's also on the head of my apology list. She just caught me in a bad moment on a bad day. She'll be pleased to hear it. What, that I had a bad day? Or that I want to apologise? <laughs> Maybe both. And she was right. I should have taken the time out to explain to her that I got parked in. Well, if I see her, I'll tell her. Thank you. Well, I better keep moving. I've got patience to check. Oh, is uh, Travis round? Oh, no, he's just got out to get some curry. Oh, what a pity. I just wanted to know what he shot today. We were level pegging until I got your page. Oh, all right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Kelly, I really meant what I said today about us sticking together if things get prickly. I will do everything I can to help you. So, don't lose any sleep, all right? I won't. Night. Night. So what was the point of him dropping in? Moral support. Basically to say that he backed me up if it came to anything. Oh, did you tell him to go jump? Kel, your only fault was inexperience. His was out playing golf while he should have been on duty. You know he's just trying to shift the blame. But that doesn't get around the fact that I was the one who made a mess of things. So does that mean you're both going to get a please explain? Well, it depends if the Complaints Commission get a call. If they do, then the can rests here. Which is why paranoid doctors invented medical defence insurance. I might be overreacting, but I feel so angry. Well, fortunately, the McLarens of this world are the exception rather than the rule. Thank God for that. Hello, love. How are you feeling? That's a bit rude, isn't it? I'm in pyjamas. Sorry? Yeah, so am I. Alf, what is it? Alf, are you OK? What's it to you? What is it, love? Could you come and see to Alf, please? Oh, yeah. Why, do we have a problem? Um, he doesn't know me. What's happening? Alf, what day of the week is it? Can you tell me? Uh, why? Do you know who I am? No. The nurse, I want you to put up a litre of normal saline and we'll give him a bolus of 60 milligrams of Lasex quickly. Uh, everything's going to be fine, so I'd just like you to wait outside no, for a few minutes. everything's not Thank fine. You. He doesn't no, know no, no, you. No, he doesn't don't know... argue. Just let them do what they have to do. Come on. <laughs> happening? The non-technical explanation is his waterworks weren't functioning. Now, I know this must have seemed frightening to you, but it can happen. All the more reason for it to be anticipated, like this afternoon's bleeding. It was, Mrs. Ross, which is why I was just about to check on him. Just about to isn't good enough, Doctor. Is he all right now? Yeah, sure. He's passing fluid. Yeah, that's all see. I need to hear from you. I'll get to the bottom of this in the morning. Good morning. I wouldn't bet my career on that if I were you. Elsa Stewart is in with hospital administration even as we speak. Which is a pain in the glutus maximus for me. Because it means extra paperwork. And probably a slap on the wrist for not being there the moment complications started setting in. But uh, uh, I think it's going to be a little more than that for you. Last night he almost suffered renal failure. Oh no. Kelly, unfortunately, there is no way that I can avoid putting in my report that it was probably due to a prolonged decrease of BP while you were trying to put in that suture. Okay, look, I'm sorry, but I thought you should know. Thanks. Oh, Elsa, I've heard there were some problems last night. Problems doesn't begin to describe it, Kelly. I'm on my way right now to the Health Care Complaints Commission, and I suggest you start thinking very quickly about exactly who was in the wrong yesterday. Oh, Dr. McLaren. As you predicted, I was called to office admin this morning. I have to give a full report on Al's condition. Yeah. Well, I... I it's all right, Kelly. As I told you last night, you did the best you could under the circumstances, and my report will certainly reflect that. Thank you, but I think... Look, these unfortunate incidents occur. It won't be the last time in your career you're faced with a disgruntled patient. You're a good doctor, and we'll stand behind you. How's it going? 
Oh, wonderful. The more I write, the less sure I am that I did the right thing. Come off it. I can't believe you're carrying the can for this. You have made it clear that Alf was McLaren's patient, haven't you? I mean, he's the one that should have been there to look after him. I can't point the finger at him, Trey. Well, why not? He shouldn't have left the hospital. But he tried to call us as soon as he got the first page. It wasn't his fault that he got parked in. Parked in? At the golf club? You've got to be kidding. Dr. McLaren arrived at 2.25. OK, so where does the parking inviso come from? He was still playing golf a quarter past. I'm surprised he made it that quickly. What? Yeah, we were on the second fairway. He looked at his pager and, and just rushed off. It was quarter past then, I remember looking. But we first paged him just before two. Well, we would have just been teeing off then, so... Hang on, his pager did go off then. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, the beeper was wrecking his concentration, so he turned it off. He's the one that should be making this damn report to the hospital, not you. Haven't you finished it yet? I just don't know what to do. You're not going to take the rap for this just because he didn't want his golf interrupted, eh? Well, it's not quite that simple. I wish it was. Now I realise why he's making such a big deal out of backing me up. Because that's what professionals do. He obviously expects me to back him up in the same way. And? Are you going to? Kel, if you won't tell it the way it is, I will, okay? No, Trav, you don't understand. Making an enemy out of a senior surgeon is not a good career move. And copping the blame for this is? Get real. I just want to clarify something for my report. Now, you did say that you left the golf club as soon as you paid your beat. When I got the message, I came back straight away. Why? And did you get the message as soon as you were paged? <laughs> Kelly, what's this all about? Well, I just want to get it right for my report. It seemed strange that we first called you just before 2, and yet you didn't get the message until 2.15. Who told you that? Travis. Well, I think he's mistaken. It's quite easy to lose track of time on the golf course. So you didn't turn your pager off at the first tee? Kelly, I've given you my account of what happened. Tell me, which part don't you understand? Just a bit about the pager. You just write your report as you saw it. I'll have a word with the hospital administrator and sort it all out. You wanted to see me? Oh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> Travis was in before. Oh. You told me what you did. I uh, just wanted to thank you. Seems like you saved my life, not the other bloke. No, I didn't save your life. If McLaren hadn't turned up and taken over, well... Yeah, but from what I've heard, if you hadn't done what you did, there wouldn't have been anything to take over. This... this thing about, uh, still in the hospital, it's... it's nothing to do with you personally. Just that they messed up. The, there should have been some bloke here with letters after his name all the time. It's not your fault, Kelly. You're just inexperienced, that's all. You sure you don't mean incompetent? Oh, don't take it like that, love. Either way you put it, my name's Mud. What is it? It's a letter from the hospital's insurers. They sent it round by courier an hour ago. What's so important they couldn't post it? A without prejudice offer to settle out of court. Amount to be negotiated so long as we agree to no publicity. You're kidding. That's as good as admitting negligence. But I'm not sure if we should accept it, though. What? I didn't do it for the money, Alf. The people in this town have a right to know what sort of medical service they can expect. Yeah, but... Well, it'll get out. And... It's... It's not going to make any difference anyway, Alf. I mean... People aren't going to go all the way to Yabby Creek in an emergency. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, it's Kelly. It's all right, um... I got a letter from the hospital's insurers. Alf thinks that we should accept the offer. Oh, there's no point in making a song and dance about it. So that's what he meant by sorting it out, huh? Sorry? Oh, no, forget it. Congratulations. Should be a nice lump sum for you. Well, I thought you'd be pleased, you know, that it's not going any further. Doesn't matter to me. There's already enough incompetence in this profession without me adding to it. Excuse me. Oh, sister. 
Is Dr. McLaren out of surgery yet? Yes, about 15 minutes ago. Uh, did you want to see him? Yes. I'm afraid he's already gone. What? He got changed straight away and left. Did he say where he was going? No. I can have him paged if you like. No, oh, don't bother. Hello, Kelly. Fancy around the golf? I'll wait for you to get changed, if you like. Oh, really? I didn't think you waited for anyone, especially patients. <laughs> a resident with attitude. I can't believe you just walked straight out of surgery again after what happened. Why ever not? Lightning doesn't strike in the same place twice. Yes, it does. In fact, it's more likely to. Yeah, all right, all right. It's a bad choice of words. But the chances of my patient having a relapse after what happened to Alf yesterday are astronomical. You know? Up until 10 minutes ago, I was considering getting out of medicine altogether. Well, we all have bad days at But the as long as there are arrogant surgeons like you around, I think patients need doctors like me. Even if we do have to muddle through to fix up others' mistakes.